Many international students look forward to doing internships after completing their courses in Australia. Australian employers hire international students for internships. Short answer is yes. The next question is, is it easy to get internships for international students in Australia? The answer is no. But in this video, we'll try to make it easy by giving you the information you need in order to prepare yourself for getting an internship here in Australia. Are you ready? Let's go. So to give you a quick outline of what we are going to discuss, we will talk about what are the internships, what are the benefits of doing internships in Australia, what are some of the key requirements when you are looking for internships. We will also give you top 10 employers who are hiring international students for the internships and last but not the least is how to actually get internships. So if you want to know all this information, make sure to stick around till the end. So let's get started with the first thing which is what is an internship? Internship is basically a temporary work opportunity for students. It helps students to gain practical work experience in their relevant field of study. Usually after completing your graduation or even while you are still studying in the last year of your course, you can usually apply for internships in Australia. For the time duration, it can vary, but many internships usually last anywhere from 10 weeks to 12 weeks. But it can last longer or shorter than that as well. Sometimes it can be few extra months or it can be for a whole semester as well. It just depends upon the type of internship you're doing and the employers you're working with and very importantly it can be a paid internship or sometimes it could be an unpaid internship as well we'll talk quickly about that at the end of this video now let's look at some of the benefits of doing an internship in australia so the first thing first is practical work experience it is such an important thing for any student to get some practical work experience before they actually get employed in the industry and that's the exact role of these internships are they prepare students for the real world when they actually start working. So the practical components of these internships are very critical to learn for these students. The next benefit is that you get to learn about Australian workplace culture. So the chances are that that Australian workplace culture is quite different than your home country. It could be regarding the time you come in and time you sign out. How do you address bosses? It could be regarding meetings and so on. We actually have a whole video about Australian workplace culture as well. We'll put the link of that in the description box below so you get to learn about Australian workplace culture and how do they actually operate moving on to the next benefit which is about improving your work communication skills when now communicating with your friends and communicating at work is quite different you usually have to be quite formal luckily Australian workplace culture is quite informal at times but you still need to follow a formal way of communicating when you are at your workplaces so this is something that you will learn and you will definitely improve during your internships the next very important element or benefit of internship is pathway to the job so after completing your internships there are chances that sometimes the intern company will actually hire the students as well and that is what many students actually aspire for so once you have finished your internship if there are job opportunities available in that specific company and if they like you as a person there is usually a clear pathway for the students to go for those sort of job roles it's not a guarantee but it is certainly a possibility last but not the least one of the most important benefit is is mentorship see when you're working with the people who already have a lot of experience in the industry they become your mentors for life you can ask them for advice regarding your career and some tips in order to kickstart your career in the specific industry you're working in in my personal opinion it is one of the most powerful benefits as it can certainly shape your career in the long run as well now let's move on to the next part which is what are the requirements if you want to get an internship in Australia one of the first one and the most important one is your visa and the work hours. Now I must start by saying this that most of the international students unfortunately don't get internships because of their work conditions on their visas. As many employers would like to have students working full-time hours during the duration of the internships. Yes there are opportunities for part-time internships as well but let's be honest most of the employers would prefer students having a full-time work rights and that is the reason why sometimes when you are on a student visa you may may not be able to get these internships. However, if you jump to some other visa that allow you to have a full-time work hours, like for example, temporary graduate visas, that's when a lot of employers start looking at those applications. I'm not suggesting that you cannot get internships on a student visa. There are students who have got internships. Actually, some of my own students have managed to get some internships in the marketing industry itself while they were still studying. But that is certainly a bit of a hurdle for many students when they are on a student visa and the employer 
employers look for full-time work hours during those internships. So that is one of the key requirements for international students if you are planning to look for internship. The next one will be a completed degree or at least a certification of near completion. So you are looking for internship, the chances are that you might have already completed a degree. And in that case, you will need that paper from the university saying that you have completed your course. Or if you are still in your last year of studies and you're planning to apply for an internship, then you would need at least some sort of certification saying that you have completed X amount of duration of the course. Apart from that, you will also need a resume and a cover letter to apply for these sort of internships. So you need to create a proper resume and alongside you have to create a cover letter as well. We have got the videos regarding resume and a cover letter on our channel and we've got a free template on our website regarding resume and a cover letter. If you want to download it, we'll leave the link of that in the description box. The next requirement is to have a good application. Now, most of these internships would require you to apply for it, especially the larger organizations will expect you to send an application. So it will be a critical part of getting an internship that you must have a completed forms that they require you to complete. Sometimes you may also have to attach additional evidence or paperwork like your visa documentation, passport and so on as well. So make sure you send your best application along with all the documents that they need. Another requirement is to have a decent communication skills. Many Australian employers are a bit hesitant to hire international students is because of their communication skills or at least that's what they think. So it's very important that you have a decent communication skills in English especially in writing, in speaking, you should be able to communicate effectively with your peers. It might test you during the application process for that. Sometimes you may even need to submit your IELTS PTE scores alongside with your application as well. And last but not the least, the usual work requirements such as you must have a TFN, bank account and a superannuation account in order to work for these internships. As chances are that many larger organizations usually pay for these internship roles so you'll have to have all these other things as well. So let's look at now the top 10 companies offering internships to international students in Australia. We'll divide them into different categories. So let's have a look at them. First, we'll look at accounting and consulting companies. They are Deloitte, KPMG, PwC, PricewaterhouseCoopers, Ernest & Young, and Grant Thornton. In technology and IT, you have TikTok, Atlassian, and Dolby. In engineering, you have Rio Tinto, BHP, in telecommunications, you have Telstra and in academic research, you have Cicero. These are some of the companies that actually hire international students for internships. There are definitely more companies out there as well, but these are the top rated companies here in Australia. And that's the reason why we mentioned them as well, because they do have opportunities for international students to apply for their internships. If you know any other companies that actually provide internships to international students, please let me know in the comment section below as well. Now, last but not the least, here are some tips on how to get internships in Australia. First thing first will be to research all the possible opportunities. So what I suggest you to do is even before you finish your course, start making a list of the companies you would actually like to work for. It could be large, it could be small or medium businesses and start exploring are they offering any specific internships to international students. Second important thing will be to optimize your resume. Make sure to tailor your resume in order to stand any chance for getting seen by Australia. Australian employers. The chances that the structure of Australian resume format is quite different than your home country. So make sure you follow that in order to have any chance for your application to be seen. Now, next very important thing will be to build your LinkedIn profile. It's very important for any graduate to have a good LinkedIn profile. It is a must. Having a nice photo with a clear background, making sure that you outline all your skills and knowledge and also any work experience you have got in any industries and try to reach out to people through those networks as well. See if you can build some relationships online through LinkedIn as well. It's a very powerful tool. I highly recommend you check it out. And if you haven't got one, please make sure you update your LinkedIn profile as soon as possible. Next tip will be to attend the networking events. During your last years of university, you will see many companies might actually come to your campus or sometimes they may organize some events for internships as well. Make sure not to miss any of those events and find any other events that might be popping up in your city that you're living here in Australia. The more you go 
out to these networking events, there are more chances that you might be able to score an internship. Now, universities usually have quite a decent resources for internships as well. So reach out to your university to find out what sort of resources do they have. I would even suggest you to check that before you enroll into any university. What sort of graduate employment programs do they have when the students complete their courses with them? Don't be hesitant to ask these sort of questions because at the end of the day, you are paying amazing amount of dollars to these universities. So they should be putting together some good resources for you after completing your course regarding internships. One of the other tip will be to start applying for these internships as soon as possible. Now there are chances that many other students, including the local students, will be applying for the same sort of internships. So applying early might give you a little bit of edge over others. I'm not saying there is a definite guarantee that applying early means you might be able to get one, but there is more probability that your application might be seen earlier. Another suggestion would be to start learning about Australian workplace culture. If you are serious of getting into Australian workplace and getting an internship, you should start learning about how do they actually operate. Like for example, how to communicate at workplace, what are the things you need to be mindful of in general day-to-day -day operations of a business, how to address your bosses and what to do in the meetings and not to do in the meetings. These things you should start learning even before you get an internship. Next thing will be preparing for interviews. Many employers might expect you to go through some interviews before they hire you for internships. So it will become very critical that you prepare yourself and practice some interview questions before you go for any of the interviews. We haven't got any videos regarding interview questions and how to address them in Australia. If you would like us to make one, please type interview in the comment section below. The more comments we get, the more chances we'll make that video quicker. Next thing will be regarding your visa regulations. It's very important to understand what your visa regulations are and where do you stand when it comes to your work hours for internships. As I said, internships can be paid or unpaid at times, especially when you are on a student visa and you're looking for an internship. It is a very critical thing that you should know your work hours and work rights regarding how many hours you can do for your internship. And if it's unpaid, will it be counted? Will it not be counted in your work hours? It can be a bit tricky, so we can't give you the straightaway answer whether it will be counted or not counted in your work hours. Because sometimes it may be a part or component of your course and sometimes it might not be a component of your course. So it's very important to understand that aspect. And one more tip will be to stay persistent. Make sure you don't give up after applying one or two. It is a constant battle for many international students to get these sort of internships. So keep applying, keep trying your best to get an internship. And very importantly regarding paid and unpaid internships, Fair Work Australia has got a really good resource regarding that on their website. I highly recommend you to check that page where they talk about whether you should be getting paid for internship or it can be considered as unpaid as well. A lot of times there is a question about productivity, whether the students are actually doing some productive work in their internships. For example, if I hire you for doing our marketing and if I ask you to create strategies, create content and do everything as an employee is supposed to do, then it may not be considered as unpaid internship. Again, this is a bit gray area. So I highly recommend you to read through that page. And if you need to get advice, please speak to Fair Work Australia about that as well. We we'll leave a link of that in the description box below for you. So that's pretty much it in regards to the internships here in Australia. Now, if you are serious about getting a professional job in Australia, I highly recommend you to check this video. Here we talk about how to do professional networking in Australia. There are very few videos that talk about these sort of things. And if you are really serious about getting one, then this is the video you need to check. And I'll see you there.